back to Breezy with Homestead. I just want to start off by saying I hope you guys had a great Christmas. Hope the holidays were good. I hope Santa brought you everything you wanted. Um, real quick, I'm going to show you what he brought me. It was pretty pretty neat. So, got here this. Let me turn it around. Ultimate Vloggers Kit. A little tripod, a mic, and a, a, a flash, you know. That way I can keep making some videos for you guys. So it was a cool gift. I'm actually using it right now, testing it out and everything. But um, we're going to go outside. I'm going to let you guys know what we're going to be doing today. All right. So we made it outside, and it's a nice day out. Look at this. Really nice day out. But um, what we're going to be doing today is kind of organizing ourselves a little bit more as far as um, for when we feed the goats. Because right now when we feed them, we just feed them all over the place. There's no specific area that we feed them at. But um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a little feeding area for them. We're gonna build one for the bucks over in their shelter and then we're gonna build another one here in the barn for the female goats. And let me just show you what we're gonna do. See, I gotta, I'm walking around right now trying to find their little feed buckets because we're gonna be putting those on some, um, some wood, a piece of two by four, and then mounting that onto the wall. Um, Got filled with water but see here's one we're gonna clean that up and then there's another one somewhere but the bucks also have some same things like these I'm gonna show you what we're doing I'm gonna go round everything up cuz <laughs> I'm like I said it's just dis disorganized there's feed buckets laying everywhere so I'm gonna get everything rounded up and then I'll show you guys what um, I'm actually gonna do here in the barn um, to mount these up and everything all right so here's everything <clears throat> just two of these little feed buckets and then this long piece of old 2x4 what I'm gonna do is mount the 2x4 onto these these um, poles here mount it onto that and then basically when it's lift it up. all right so when it's mounted up on the wall, basically these are gonna fit on the piece of wood like that. And um, then we'll be able to pour their feet in there and they can go at it. So I'm gonna get that all done, I'm gonna get it set up and then we're gonna hop over to the buck pen and do something similar over there for them. You probably seen in that clip there, lady here being a big turd to the babies. She does not like letting them eat. See, look. Oh, I thought she was about to go knock them out of that side. But anyways, it works. The feeder feeding area is going to be here from now on. We're just going to always fill these little buckets up for them when they when it's time for them to eat and we're just gonna go over to the bucks area right now and we're gonna do something similar I had something similar like this already put up in their shelter over there with the bucks but uh they knocked it down so 
I just got to screw it back up real quick. It's been cold here in Florida, by the way. This, um, well, well all the water troughs, but, um, this is the first one I noticed this morning, but it had a thick sheet of ice on top. When I cracked it, it was at least a quarter inch, but it was, I think I woke up in the middle of the night last night and it said it was 24 degrees out here. So it was definitely a cold one last night. You wouldn't think it gets that cold in Florida, but it does. All right, so this is the Bucks little shelter here. Open this gate, but yeah, this is the <clears throat> the Bucks little shelter, and like I said, we already had a little feeding area in there for them, but it f fell down, and we're just gonna put it back up real quick. Hey, buddy! So there it is. It was that stick there mounted on the two posts, and um. That's their feeding area so all we gotta do real quick is just mount that back up and it'll be good to go Don't you just hate when things go wrong? I was going to get that there screwed into the post and my drill bit wasn't on the on the drill no more, so and I couldn't find it anywhere there in the hay, so I'm probably it's long gone, I'm sure. But I'm gonna just go grab another drill bit. All the chickens are out. Oh, by the way, we do got some news also on the um, weathers. I don't know if you guys seen that video, but where we went and picked up a couple of weathers for Winston to have friends. Well, we did narrow it down to just one. We got rid of the one we named Bernard, the black and white one, and um, we kept Gus the little fair-haired one and Well, you know, I'm getting distracted here. I was about to go show him to you But uh, let me get this drill bit really fast and then we'll go right back out there Gosh now I gotta look through all these tools uh, And find the one I need let's see fit into the screw but anyways um back to what I was saying I uh we narrowed it down to Gus um ended up keeping him there wasn't really a reason why he was the one that um ended up being left and why Bernard went but the people that bought him just decided they liked Bernard so they got Bernard and left us Gus but that's all right he's a real sweet boy where's he at there he is just hanging out. He's a real cute guy. I'm kind of glad he's the one we got left with, honestly. Not that Bernard wasn't cute, but I don't know. This guy's just really cute. But he's the, he's the one that made the cut. Alright, so there that is, and same concept as what we did over in the barn for the females, same exact thing, but uh, that blue one there is going to be where we'll put the feed, and then I got to fill it, but that black one that has two compartments is where we're going to put the the minerals and the baking soda and all that, so that they um, 
get all their nutrients and and everything that they that they need but there it is easy peasy nothing to it I need to put a back wall on this and finish roofing it but that's the bucks shelter and this is the little buck area little bucks pin you showing off for the camera again Rufus I know I say it all the time but he just thinks he's so tough <laughs> look at him following me making sure I get out of his out of his spot all right guys well now that that is all done the goats have their designated feeding areas and it's just gonna make it more organized for us so we're not leaving feed buckets all over the yard and you know just all over the place and make it more organized make it a little cleaner looking but um only thing that I'm gonna do now is as you've seen over there in the buck pen they did have that uh, little black two co double compartment um feeder that we use to put their minerals and baking soda and stuff like that so we're going to do something similar over here for the female goats but it's just going to be two let me show you two of these here these two little feed things or whatever i don't know they're little plastic containers but we're just going to screw those onto that um two by four that we mounted onto the poles and it'll just be an area so that they can also have um, some minerals and stuff like that. Free choice, just laying out all the time for when they need it. But I'm going to go screw those on real quick. And uh, we'll see what I need to do next. All right, so with that done, now, hey girl, now they can, don't knock my camera over. Hey, anyways, uh, now they have their, a spot for their goat minerals. And this is um, just, you know, minerals goats need. Make sure that they get all their, you know, everything that they need, especially copper. Goats need a lot of copper in their diet and uh, Right now, especially when it's winter time and they're not eating much of the grass out there, since it's not really growing, they um, it just ensures that they they're getting all their minerals still because copper is like you're just saying a bunch of minerals that they get from the soil naturally when they're out there grazing. Um, like I said, which they're not really doing much of right now. Is that good? I don't know if it's any good. It smells really weird. That's for sure. All right, guys. Well, uh, it was another short video today. Um, I did speak with one of my um, cousins, though, over the holidays, and uh, he was telling me how he's a big fan and everything, and how um, the only thing he says is he wishes that the some of my videos were a little bit longer. So, uh, you know, if you're watching, <laughs> you know who you are. But um, he said that I should make my videos a little bit longer. So uh, do me a favor guys and go down into the comments and let me know what you think should I uh, maybe make these videos a little bit longer because when I do the editing I trim down a lot and um, I leave out a lot of the footage that I do get but um I told him I'd give it a go and see if I can't make them a little bit longer so um, I just want to get a little bit more feedback on that so let me know down in the comments guys if I should make them a little longer or if they're too long for you just let me know but um Speaking of that, of like commenting and stuff, um, we do have a subscriber who on various different occasions has commented actually and has done exactly what I intended this channel to be used for, which is a learning platform for everybody. Um, they've been leaving me really good advice, really good comments on um, things like one of our hay feeders uh, building some kind of support structure underneath it so that our bucks aren't knocking it down all the time um, good not sometimes it's not even really you know advice like that it's just you know oh it, it looks good you know um, we did a fencing video one time and she just commented oh you did good on the fencing it looks good you know it's just you know really nice to to you know get onto the um, youtube channel and just see all these comments from 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 you guys so uh don't be scared to comment um don't be scared to give us some advice like i said uh that's exactly what we started this channel for we're not farmers or homesteaders by any means well i mean i guess technically now we're we're, we're sort of homes homesteaders but uh 
um that's why i started this channel so that you guys could watch our progress and help us learn along the way and i mean maybe we'll teach you something something you know i know i've had a couple of my my buddies who are into the homesteading thing uh tell me things like like our hay feeder we made out of a futon frame how it's really a good idea and how they're going to utilize that idea on, on their homestead so it's just really cool to to see the channel starting to do what i intended it to do what i wanted to start it for was so that we could learn we could give each other advice and uh you know everybody these goats are jumping around next to me sorry but um but yeah so we could give each other advice help each other out um you know i'm i am no not ashamed at all to go out there and say oh help me out guys or give me some advice or teach me what i'm doing wrong you know help me out and it's just like i said it's cool to to go on there and see comments from you guys um giving us that advice and just showing us that you know if you want to do something it can be done you know even on a small scale but um I, I'm just rambling now, but uh, anyways, like I said, it was really cool to just see that, get those comments and just all that feedback and, and everything like that, but um, let me know how your guys' holiday went. Uh, go down into the comments. It doesn't have to be advice. You could just let me know a story or something that you can relate to that you see us doing here on our farm, you know. Um, let us know stories about yourselves. You know, I, I want to get in touch with you guys and just kind of find out more about our viewers and who our viewers are. Um, but that's all I got for today, guys. Uh, it was just a quick video, but I might start making them longer, you know, as requested by one of my cousins. But I um, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't done so already, go down there and hit that subscribe button. It'll really help us out. Uh, let, let your friends know about us. Give us a share on Facebook or something. Um, and also, go check out our Facebook page. It is uh, Breezy Woods Homestead. And um, like I've said before, we just post little daily updates on that um, page. Just, you know things that we see happening on a daily basis here here on the farm but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys had a great holiday uh new year's is also right around the corner so if i don't put out another video before that happens um happy new year's everybody i hope uh 2021 is a little better a little, overall just better for everybody uh 2020 wasn't exactly the ideal year to to have to go through but um uh hope you guys enjoyed I will see you next time, and again, hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, later. <laughs>